Yeah, and you don't have to go to urban or even suburbia. You can go into uh, Queens, New York. And, and so what's that? Seven million people in the, in the borough. And if you are at rush hour at Queens, New York, in, in Queens, New York, and you have a stroke, um, it'll take you an hour to an hour and 15 minutes to get a stroke center. And we all know in stroke, that window of time is hypercritical to, to what kind of life you're going to lead moving forward from there. There are technologies with companies like Corindus, which has got a teletherapeutic stroke platform that allows interventional neuro to go in. And so you can dial in on a Corindus platform, pull into the nearest sort of ambulatory surgical center in Queens, have a world-class neurosurgeon sitting out in Palo Alto, immediately dial in and within 10 or 15 minutes access care. That's just an example of more has happened in the last 36 months in med tech than the last 36 years on scale in regards to innovation. Yeah, it, it's amazing. Last year, we had the opportunity to work on a manager of, of quality position for uh, a top top 10 global medical device client, all on IoT. And they have all these different divisions and it, they, the applications that are possible, you know, right now, a big part of it's just collecting the data. How do we collect the data? How do we make it safe? And, you know, and, and, in, and in terms of, is that surgical device power it up, download the data, when do we need to do um, compliance, make sure that, you know, whether it's a uh, battery or safety, but just in terms of figuring out, well, taking that information and creating outcomes data, it, we're just on the forefront of it. It's, it's incredible yeah. possibilities. Yeah. And, and look, you know, I, I love the fact that you specialize, you know, in that reg qual clin area, I think, that is the most exciting area because the innovation that's going on right now, you know, historically, if you look at med tech, there's never been a sensitivity to a software stack for the most part in med tech. When you talk about core base, middle software platform, and then the top end UI UX interaction. Now add into that cyber, add into that quality, add into that clin, add into that a SaaS model of product development where our new product rollouts are done over a 5G sort of connection, you're talking about an ecosystem now in med tech that's never existed before because typically we've been focused on extruding catheters, injection molded, and maybe putting together a guide wire. And again, I don't mean to minimize the amazing work that the industry's done. Right. It's just now that we are developing platforms that are digitally, digitally enabled that are gonna allow us to aggregate massive amounts of data and then the technologies that will trickle out from that, meaning new companies, man, I would be on Reg, Clin, and Qual on a career path right now. Um, that's the fast track to success. That's a big reason why I love those areas. Mm -hmm. Certainly the personal interest of that, but absolutely from a career standpoint, the opportunities are gonna be limitless. And what you just talked about it, you know, the first thing that sort of popped in my mind, and it's not to the extent of the IT portion of what goes into med tech, but just when you think about additive manufacturing and 3D printing and how that is, is, has gone from, you know, what in 30 years, what's happened in five mm -hmm. and how companies are trying to take that from just the initial prototyping to actually being a, process, a part of the process of manufacturing. Yeah, you're, 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 we already have ortho companies that through additive and, 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 and sort of 3D printing, is I can get an image of a patient. And, you know, if you think about orthopedics, just as a general rule, orthopedics uh, is sort of, uh, here's your four sizes, make it fit. Well, what if I can take imaging now and I can take that file and I can custom print that and overnight literally have it mailed to the doc next day in an OR. Uh, that's a reasonable thought in the next 24 months of having a custom implant that fits the physiology custom to the patient these are the types of things that we're going to start to see more of. Yeah, it's exciting. It's really exciting.